AI play that you might not have heard of yet. Take a look at shares of Dynatrace this year. They're up more than 28% so far and coming off a strong, strong earnings report just a couple of days ago. The software harnesses artificial intelligence for a host of uses, including business analytics and application security. And my next guest believes they could be one of the leaders of the AI race. Joining me now is Keith Bachman of BMO Capital Markets with a buy rating on the stock. He says Dynatrace is a clear leader in AI. It's good to see you, Keith. And how do you know this isn't just hype and, you know, branding or whatever? Well, sure. First off, uh, I just feel fortunate I wasn't p part of the last, uh, the economic challenge. So happy to be talking about Dynatrace. Um, and in terms of AI, you have to think about the big picture of AI and then this new category called generative AI, which is what Microsoft and many other leaders are talking about. Uh, in terms of Dynatrace, they have been a leader in the bigger picture AI uh, and, and we think that provides sustainable competitive advantage. And what it really, to put it in simple terms, what Dynatrace enables uh, organizations such as Bank of Montreal to do is to uh, keep track of how our network and applications are performing. And there's a tremendous amount of automation built into it so that we can do it effectively, uh, both from a performance basis and also from a cost basis. And so what Dynatrace really does is again, leverage the bigger picture AI in terms of automating a, a number of IT functions. Sure, if I could, I might call it, you know, kind of enterprise AI or something like that, systems AI. I mean, sure. I just have to imagine there's a host of companies who want to race into the market with similar offering, offerings. What makes theirs unique or, or what is their moat, so to speak? Yeah, it's a good question. And I think um, both scalability and really developed practices around AI. So for instance, for what Dynatrace can do is automatically identify where a problem is, number one. Two is give organizations help on what's the biggest problem, where's the priority. And three is remediate, which is a fancy word for saying help solve the problem. And when you have an organization that's 40,000 or 50,000 people, um, it, it, it tends to produce many different problems. And so we think Dynatrace's AI ca capabilities are far in advance what the competitors can do. Do you think they're going to get out in a bigger way, you know, to become one of the poster children for AI or, or to kind of, you know, hold their cards a little closer to the vest? Um, I don't know. I'm just curious about, you know, again, most of the companies seem to be so eager to get out there and use yeah. the AI term, you know, 13,000 times on their earnings calls and what have you. Um, is Dynatrace that kind of company? Not really. I think, look, a lot of every company we deal with is focusing on and presenting an AI strategy right now. And some of it is candidly a little bit of catch up. Dynatrace has had a pretty formidable um, capabilities on AI for the last two years or last several years, I should say, and probably hasn't been promotional uh, about those capabilities. But, but I think uh, over the course of time, investors will come to understand that, that Dynatrace really is a leader in the broader category of AI, which again, creates sustainable competitive advantage in our opinion. You raised your price target to 55. It is trading at a 51 times forward PE. Yeah, we tend to focus in software world, we tend to focus more on cash flow and it's trading uh, just under 40 times free cash flow. And we think the sustainable growth is called plus or minus kind of 20% as we look out over the next couple of years. So relative to those growth dynamics and free cash flow generation, we still think the risk reward uh, tilts very positive here. Well, and certainly if people agree that this is a name they need to have in their portfolio for, uh, for the AI chase. Keith, thanks for joining us and highlighting it. We appreciate it.